Hi, my name is Reshma Rachel Vargas and I'm a second year MBA student at Rajali College of Social Sciences. And today I'm going to be talking about the topic environment. In the month of August 2018, a 15-year-old girl decided to stop going to school and protest in the feats of the Swedish parliament. And this agitation of hers was against climate change. And this small movement by her led to an inspiration of agitation and protest throughout the schools in Sweden. And this 15-year-old girl, exactly a year after, delivered her speech at the UN Climate Action Summit in front of world leaders and delegates. And her speech titled, How Dare You? She bluntly and honestly spoke about the negligence we had towards climate change and how we were failing future generations. Though it was taken a little bit bitter by the world leaders and delegates, she was very keen in communicating the kind of truth and honesty that lies behind environmental degradation. And she went on to becoming a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize twice. And she was declared as the person of the year by Times Magazine. And this 16-year-old girl is none other than Greta Thunberg. The five major causes that we have in the environment today is deforestation, ozone depletion, waste disposal, the loss of biodiversity and carbon emissions. And these five causes, knowingly or unknowingly, are increased by the kind of activity and the lifestyle us human beings have in the world today. In the year 2019, we saw one of the largest forest fires. The lungs of the earth were burning day in and day out. Flora and fauna were burning and there was nothing that we grew from our sides. Only the firefighting happening. And when we thought that was the end of it, the beginning of the year 2020, we saw the burning of the Australia. Forests in Australia were burning. They were burning day in and day out. Half a billion animal population were burned down to ashes. Areas as big as football pitches were burning every single minute. We took to our social media platforms. We took to our hashtag revolution. We went, we posted. We all sat in our safe little cocoons and did nothing. All we did was show our support. And if we continue to do so, we're contributing to a huge mass extinction of not animals, of the human race. Oceans are warming. Our summers and winters are becoming warmer year after year. There is a huge change that is happening in our climates. Aquatic animals, marine, marine plants and animals are losing their life because of the kind of activities that we are showing day after day. And if we don't make that slight change in our life, if you don't make that switch from single-use plastics and other non-biodegradable items to sustainable products, then we are contributing to something that we can never come back from. And that small price that you might have to pay a little bit extra for those sustainable products is the price that you must be willing to pay for saving our earth. And if we do not shift to a kind of sustainable life, then I am for sure saying for a fact that we are contributing to an irreversible change. That's it. Thank you.